Okay, so the third and final tip of this series. So we've had the buyer consultation, we found your motivation, we know what your resources are, we know what your time frame is, we've gathered all the paperwork that you need to be successful and to save time to get the property you want once you find it. You're ready to hop in the car and start looking at properties, we're sending you listings, you're getting excited, you wanna buy something, everything's going good, but again, you don't wanna waste any time in this competitive market, you wanna be as efficient as possible. And one of those things that you can do when you're going out looking is to preview properties before we even set appointments and here's why. You can do a lot of searching and get some information when you're looking at Google Maps and Zillow and you do the, um, the, 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 the 360 views of properties, but sometimes that information is inaccurate and old and dated. The only way you're really gonna know if you like a property or if you like a neighborhood is when you drive by and preview it and take a look at the neighborhood, drive the streets, see what's going on around it and see if it's something that you really wanna consider. You know, photography is, is great nowadays. Visuals and video are, are really specific now. However, the house might be photographed from a particular angle that makes it look its very best. And if it's a good agent and a good photographer, that's exactly what they've done. But you may not be seeing everything that the property has to offer. You may not be seeing everything about the neighborhood. There might be some things that you don't like. And you don't want to waste time looking at houses in parts of town and in neighborhoods that you don't even want to consider. So do yourself a favor and just hop in the car, drive by the property before you set the appointment, and that way we spend our time looking at the properties that you really want and not wasting time looking at properties that you don't want when it could have been avoided. Now that's not necessarily a decision for me to make for you all the time. I can give you suggestions based on the information that we got from the consultation, but you still ultimately want to make the call yourself because sometimes people's um, you know people's decisions change and you know their priorities change as the, the the search process goes on so definitely want to jump in the car take a preview take a look if you're new to town or you're new to the area give yourself a Saturday and go and hang out in the town you know see see what goes on on the Saturday afternoon you know get a pulse get, get a sense of the pulse of the town hang out on a Friday night hang out on the Saturday night walk through town on a Saturday afternoon with your family just to get an idea of, of the vibe of the town and the vibe of the family. That's something I definitely suggest. And if you don't really know where to go, obviously we'll just, we're gonna give you a ton of suggestions of where to go. We have a lot of friends that are business owners in the area, so we'll send you to them and, and, uh, and they'll uh, you know, give you a handshake and invite you to town. Some restaurants that we suggest and some other places for entertainment that we suggest if you're new to town. So that's another third and last final tip uh, for you to be successful when you're looking to buy a property in a competitive market or in any market really We just want to help you save time. We want to help you be sufficient and we want to help you have success So obviously you can send us a message anytime get a little bit more clarification on these things These are just three tips. There's a lot more to the process than this, but this will hopefully get your wheels turning and uh, Maybe you can reach out to us and we can answer any additional questions that you have as the result of these three tips So thanks for watching Look for the next series to come up soon.